children. We are facing a grave crisis in our national life. The few who profit from the labor of the masses want to organize the workers into an army which will protect the interests of the capitalists. Hmm. Yet everywhere we hear fear advanced as an argument for armament. Congress is not preparing to defend the people of the United States. It is preparing to protect the capital of American speculators mm -hmm. and investors. Incidentally, this preparation will benefit the manufacturers of munitions and war machines. Mm -hmm. Every modern <coughs> war has had its root in exploitation. The present war is to decide who shall exploit the Balkans, Turkey, Persia, Egypt, China, India, Africa. And we are wetting our sword to scare the victors into sharing the spoils with us. Now, the workers are not interested in the spoils. They will not get any of them anyway. The preparedness propagandists have still another object, and a very important one. They want to give the people something to think about, besides their own unhappy condition. They know that the cost of living is high, wages are low, employment is uncertain, and will be so much more so when the European call for munitions stops. No matter how hard and incessantly the people work, they cannot afford the comforts of life. Many cannot afford the necessities. Mm -hmm. Workers know they have no enemies except their masters. They know that their citizenship papers are no warrant for the safety of themselves or their wives and children. They know that honest sweat, persistent toil, and years of struggle bring them nothing worth holding on to, worth fighting for. Yet deep down in their foolish hearts, they believe they have a country. <laughs> oh, blind vanity of slaves. <laughs> The ballot does not make a free man out of a wage slave. Mm -hmm. There has never existed a truly free and democratic nation in the world. Yeah. From time immemorial, men have followed with blind loyalty. Mm -hmm. The strong men who had the power of money mm -hmm. and armies. Mm -hmm. As civilization has grown more complex, the workers have become more and more enslaved. Mm -hmm. Until today, they are little more than parts of the machines they operate. Mm -hmm. It is your duty to insist on still more radical measures. Mm -hmm. It is your business to see that no worker is needlessly exposed to accident or disease. It is your business to make them give you clean cities, free from smoke, dirt, and congestion. It is your business to make them pay you a living wage. It is your business to see that everyone has a chance to be well-born, well-nourished, rightly educated, intelligent, intelligent and serviceable to the country mm. at all times. Strike against all ordinances and laws and institutions that continue the slaughter of peace and perpetuate the butcheries of war. Mm. Strike against war, for without you, no battle can be fought. Strike against the manufacturing of shrapnel and gas bombs and other tools of murder. Be not dumb, <coughs> obedient slaves in an army of destruction. Be heroes yes. in an army of construction. Yes.